Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lester Manley. I'm the founder of Trailblazer Barbecues, um, and I'm also the inventor of the product. And uh, we want to do something that's novel and interesting. We don't want our business and our story just to be about marketing and advertising, but we want our story to be your story. So what we're going to be doing over the next while is inter interviewing a range of interesting <laughs> characters, <clears throat> a range of interesting customers, and from time to time, other people that we feel have got something to share. Uh, so what we've got is this is this is Trailblazer TV series one, episode one. Um, and uh, of course, you know, who do we start with but our our lovely Andy Olive. Um, <laughs> Andy Olive is an inspiration, has been the whole way through COVID uh, and a great customer and uh, has in inspired us and, and kicked us on and his constant encouragements to us. And we are very thankful, Andy, for that. Um, what we want to do today is for you to enjoy me interviewing Andy, find out about a wee bit more about him behind the scenes, under the skin, uh, and hopefully you'll be inspired by that as well. And uh, once we finish this one, this will uh, then we'll, we'll move on to another one in a while. We're not going to tell you what the gap is. Uh, and we're not going to put you with a lot of information that's not interesting. We'll just continue to serve up uh, interesting people. And it really is our own stories. And uh, realistically, the most exciting thing that I can say is that of all the businesses and, and things I've been involved in my career, I don't think I've ever met clients and customers who have been so inspirational to us, have given us so much immense feedback about our product that it really is quite humbling. Uh, and I feel privileged to lead the organization uh, that serves you guys out there. Uh, and we just are so keen that you make more money, work less hours and have more fun. So over to you, Andy. Your business is called Happy Days. Your name is Andy Olive. Uh, I want you to give us a wee bit of the background of where you're coming from and how you got started into this game. Uh, I'm from London, always, always wanted to, uh, fr from really from school, always wanted to do the catering business. Um, everyone in my school, they want to be mechanics. Uh, it took me a while to get into catering. Um, I started in my thirties and uh, I used to have a van and roadside, wasn't really great, uh, but I stuck with it um had a little break of that went into the butchery game with my father and two brothers that's my trade a butcher and then i got back into the catering i fell back into the catering always wanted a, a burger van and all that and uh, uh barbecue stuff uh, anything to do with cooking i wanted uh i i i had a van and then i wanted to get it converted uh, it was, it, sorry, it was converted, uh, but it needed a bit of updating. Uh, I took it, uh, I found someone in Warsaw in the Midlands, in England there. And uh, basically, I, I, he was a rogue. I gave him my money, he ran off. Uh, got, that was all my money gone. So then went back into the butchery. Uh, my father died while I was doing that. I moved on again. Uh, uh, on my own, I was doing the butchery had a break of that and then I decided I want to get back into the catering bit of a roller coaster ride got back into catering again on the side of the road and all that uh again for the second time in my life got ripped off and I lost everything basically everything was gone so I was in pieces one day I was looking on Facebook and come across your company Lester uh Trailblazer and uh, the price knocked me down. I've, I mean, I, I've been wiped out twice now, so I hadn't got a penny to me name. Uh, the price, it hit me in the face. This was my chance to get back in to the catering game. So I got the Trailblazer. Never looked back. Never looked back. It was the, it was the best thing I've ever done. And as you know, I've, I've kept in contact with you and Lex. And uh, as much as you're inspired by us lot, uh, we're inspired. Well, no, I am. I'm inspired by you and your stories. And uh, I've, I follow your firm. Uh, I, I, you know, we, we've kept in touch for five years now. And um, I, I think it's a great firm. It's a great bit of kit, the Trailblazer. And uh, that, that's how I started. And I've never looked back. I, through the lockdown, 
we lost 50, I, I, I go into events and all that. We lost 52 events through lockdown. Uh, it still didn't fish me out. I've been, I've been punched down a few times. And your man Lex, I think he he could knock me out, but he would he, he could knock me down, but he wouldn't knock me out. <laughs> no one, no one has yet. <laughs> only when he's got the clothes on, Andy. Only, only when he's got the clothes on. <laughs> the the Ulster champion. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you just get up, you battle on, and that's what I did. I battled on, and uh, it's. As I say, I lost 52 events through lockdown. Started a home delivery service. The local authorities put up a barrier with that. So they stopped that. And then I stumbled across a couple of markets. And I've gone strength to strength. I'm working six days a week, as in uh, out, out and about and opening up, selling six days a week. Uh, other days, I have this sort of stuff to do and uh shopping and what have you but it's uh trailblazer basically has made me uh my story's out there we've we done a market we started a market the other day uh 60 miles from where i live and down there customers was telling us we follow you on facebook we we pleaded the market to try and get in touch with you which they did they got in touch with me and that they love the trailblazer look uh Hopefully they love our look, which I'm sure they do. And it's gone from strength from strength, you know, and that, that's all down to Trailblazer, really. So, Andy, I, I, it's, it's humbling and it's, it's gorgeous to hear that. And we really appreciate it. Um, uh, one of the things we try to do is to share our customer stories and our testimonials. And it's important to us that they're authentic. And I think that's, uh, that's so encouraging. I, I think it'd be nice for you to explain to people, like, you're a very upbeat guy, Andy. And when we see you on Facebook and stuff, there's, you know, there's there's nothing stopping you. Um, but there are there have been times that you have been floored, as you said. And um, how did you how did you cope? Did you encourage anybody who's maybe struggling and maybe coming through something similar? And you know, how did you get up in the morning? In the mornings, you didn't feel like getting up. And how did you get going when you did when you felt like packing it in? Well, basically, you get up. I'm on I'm on my second time around in life. I've got two young girls. And I've got a wife, uh, as I say, second time around, second chance. Uh, like most most men my age, we got we got mortgages, we got bills, we got families. Um, but wh wh where there's where there's the blazer, the trailblazer, the blazer. I know you use that saying now, the blazer. So, <laughs> <laughs> but where the uh, where the blazer's involved. Um, we got that from that, the, serious, that seriously does yeah, that seriously does get you into places, and uh, and I'm convinced it's because of that. Um, if I had a, a a van, what I used to have, uh, it, it just didn't get me in places. The blazer does. It's a good looking setup. I invested every penny I had, which wasn't a lot after I've got um, scammed twice. Uh, I always wanted to do this, Lester. I always wanted to do catering. And I was, I was, I was one of nine children, and there were six sisters. I was the youngest and two brothers. And I never wanted to be a butcher. But in the days when I was a butcher, you didn't have a choice. You 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 done what you was told to do. And I did it. I didn't want to be a butcher. And it was only for a couple of weeks. And, and it was years and years and years later, I was still a butcher. And I, I classed myself as a good boy. I didn't go behind my parents' back. I didn't go behind my mum's back. And I know my mum used to worry that what life was going to be for me with money and if I can, if I can cope. And, and she had, she had a, a heart attack years and years ago. And you know that, and I never wanted to worry her. So when she had that heart attack and went in the hospital, I decided this is my chance. And I went and got a loan and I knew she'd be horrified, but cause she weren't about, <laughs> I knew I would do it and I wouldn't feel guilty. Mm. So I went out and got a loan and bought a burger van. Now I was happy. I'm doing now what I wanted to do. Fell out of love with the butchery, never loved the butchery in the first place, but now I left the butchery and uh, that's when the catering started. And that was in 19, that was in 2000, sorry, 2000. And, um, and I was happy with the van, but then obviously getting scammed twice, I was down on my luck and just, it was terrible. 
But now I've got, I'll get out of bed in the morning, go, look, I've got two kids here. I've got two kids. I've got a wife. I need to do something. And then, but I didn't have no money to do anything. I'd lost everything I'd, I'd put by. And uh, then your company come up. And uh, that, that, that's, you know, what inspires me is I, I just love, I just love the cooking. I just love, I love the blazer. I love my look of the branding. The, you know, I moved, the minute I got, I took it more seriously, let's say, when I got the trailblazer. I always wanted to do cooking, but I suppose I never took it serious enough. I used to watch everyone else and thinking, I'd love to do that. I'd love to be in that show. I'd love to be in that event. But I did nothing about it. I didn't know how to do anything about it. But then when I bought the blazer and I put a few few photos of it online, and then people started to notice. Then I bought the, as you've seen, I bought the gazebo with the Happy Day sign on and all the brand. I've got someone to design my, my uh, logo. And uh, people took notice of that. And when, you, when you're serious about it, I think you'll go that extra mile to make sure I want to get into that, so I will get into it. And to do that, I had to spend a few quid. And if you spend a few pound notes, I believe, that, you know, it'll come to you. It'll come to you. As long as you work hard, it'll come to you. And that's what inspires me. And, and your stories inspire me. You, you boys and girls down at the Blazer, you, you lot inspire me. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a two-way street, guys. And uh, well, you know, that's, that, that's it. Brilliant. Tell, us, tell me, how did you come up with the name? Happy days. Well, everyone says to me, what comes first? That they, like, was it, I always used to go around saying happy days. And, uh, and a, it was a friend of mine, actually, a friend of mine, Adrian Abbott. He said to me, that's what you should call you. I used to be called Andy Max. He said, that's what you call your name. He said, because... He said, they come in to you. It's a London thing. A fella come up to me about three weeks ago and he said, that's French. You can't use that. Happy days. I said, but it's not French. He said, it is. That's a French saying. Happy days. I said, well, he said, so why do you use it? And I said, because it's just a London thing. I said, I don't pronounce me H's. <laughs> I said, so it's not happy day. I said, it's happy day. Really? And uh, my mate said to me, Adrian, he said, they come to you. He said, you sell the products. You sell the products. So, you know, as much as they like the food, they also come for your personality and they come to hear, you know, hear your stories and have a giggle with you. And that's basically how, how I've done it. I, I always drop me H's on everything, whether I'm writing or whether I'm, uh, which which probably ain't too professional in a, mm. I don't know, in a solicitor's eyes. But <laughs> I ain't a solicitor. <laughs> You say hello instead of hello, then, is it? <laughs> hello, that's it. You see, you've hello. seen the text. It's hello, I <laughs> hello. Hello. Um, Andy, I mean, there, there'll be people watching here and they'll be saying, but I don't have Andy's personality. I, I'm not as extroverted as he is. You know, I don't think I could do that. Um, uh, what do you say to those people that just love cooking, just love, love serving people? Uh, do you need to have Andy's personality? You've got to have a personality. You've always got to have an happy day personality, Lester. Always. You've got to have, you've got to have a good personality. They'll come for your food, but they'll come more to talk to you, mate. Yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, you've got, to, you've got to believe you can do it. Listen, we've all had bad luck. I know that. And I don't, I don't keep going on about that. But my luck, list, you would not believe, really. I mean, we all get, as I say, we all get a bit of bad luck. But when you're on your knees, there's only one way. I know it's a cliche, but there's only one way. But you, if you if you believe you've got a personality, you'll put it out there. You'll put it. You've got to put your personality out there. You know, no matter what you are, whether you come from the north, the south, England, Ireland. I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I, I say to people, you know, that you know the danger of climbing, climbing Everest doesn't scare a mountaineer. You know, no. uh, and the danger of starting up a, a business mm. doesn't doesn't scare an entrepreneur. Yeah, but they're, both, but they're both very, very, very scary. Yeah, adventures. yeah. Um, and I always say to people, you know, you know, if you want to, if you want to go into this game, be involved in outdoor catering, if you're passionate about it, you'll make it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if yeah. Not, you, you may not. You know, hundred um, uh, percent. And I think that's something that, and I, I, from my point of view, Andy, when I when I invented the product eight years ago, um, I invented it because. Uh, of the fact that my church did a regular youth camp barbecue and it was a disaster. And I just right. went away innocently and designed and developed a barbecue on a trailer. 
and said, there yeah. you go, guys. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted one, you know. And, yeah. and yeah. So it, it kind of like, and then my passion grew from saying, wow, this is yeah. actually creating. And that's where we came from our, with our slogan, now you can. But yeah. People were saying, now you can, now you can. And yeah, and to be honest with you, the energy, and we've, we've had, this has been, it's very hard. I've been involved in business all my life. And it's very hard to start a new business. And it was yeah. just difficult starting Trailblazer as any other business. Um, hmm. But the one thing that kept me going when I felt like giving up were guys like you, the testimonials. <laughs> so when you go back to the testimonials and you they come back and say, I can't believe this, but I got my money back in two days. Can't believe yeah. this, but I'm now leaving the kids to school again. That is better than anything. It's just incredibly satisfying. Tell me a yeah. bit, Andy, about your menu. What do people like? What do they come well, back for? People love the burgers, to, to be honest. Plain and simple, they love the burgers. They, they all come up, with, the punters always come up with their ideas. You need to do this, you need to do chili, you need to do lasagna, you need to do this. But I tell you, I put everything on the menu over the years, but over the years, it's burgers. And now that I do the char grilled barbecue, uh, the Trailblazer barbecue burgers, they, they just price, my price is good. I've got to say, my price is good. My price is probably too cheap, but you know, I ain't greedy. If I can make a living, a good living, with doing low prices, it means we work in twice as hard, knocking stuff out twice as many as other people do. I'll do it because I work twice as hard, but I get a good money out of it. I'll get good money out of it. And uh, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. So uh, price don't matter. You, you know, keep your price low. That's what I do. Keep me price low and you'll knock out the volume. It's like, not things can't be too bad, Andy. If if your number one ornament in your house are bottles of champagne, <laughs> <laughs> I think there's three or four behind you at the moment. <laughs> most people, most people collect ornaments. You you, you collect champagne. <laughs> I should have knocked those down, shouldn't I? That's, that's something. That's something. I'm getting one thinking this now. Jesus Christ, who's this uh, on the plane? <laughs> Champagne burgers, you know. <laughs> and, and you get a free, you get a free bottle with every every burger you buy. With every burger, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. No, we'll okay. Under the table, how many I've got under the table, Lester? You know. <laughs> so, um, so you've had your machine now what four or five years? Five years now, Lester. Yeah, great. Best okay. thing ever done, mate. Best okay. thing I ever done. And you know, people still comment now at the local markets that we do. People still comment at this is a good bit of kit, mate. I don't know. I I gave. I gave her the number and asked to speak to Le 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 Lex or Lester yeah. to a fella about three weeks ago uh -huh. from, um, I think he's from Devon way. He was up for the weekend and uh, I WhatsApped him his, your number. So oh, yeah. touch wood, uh, he, he gets through, Brilliant. speaks Thank to you, you about that. Yeah. He's, he wants something uh, as a part-time thing. And he said, uh, I, this is a great bit of kit, mate. And the old winding up of it, they all love that. They all love that. Yeah. They love all that. Well, I think the amazing thing, Andy, is that what I suppose from my being involved in product development all my life and branding and marketing, and I've always talked about substance and emotion. Yeah. Uh, and the, the ultimate product is a product that has got significant substance, i.e., that it works really well, but has a, a great value, emotional value around it, which is from the yeah. brand. And so we work very, very hard to try and make a machine that works better than any other machine. Mm. And looks oh. than the other machine and it's easier used than the other machine um, and it's solid and it's solid and it lasts yeah. you know yeah. um so realistically looking at saying okay well you know gas versus charcoal you know we've got to sort that one out because charcoal yeah. is by far the best medium we just have to make 100%. it easy so how do we make it easy we make it easy by the type of charcoal by the wind up mechanism you've got more heat control on that machine yeah. than any yeah. other gas barbecue in the market and that's something else they're all they're all amazed at as well that Everyone comes up and the first the first impression is, oh, this is great, this is great. What's it gas? Nice charcoal. And once you say that, that blows their mind, you know? Absolutely. That, uh, that gets them buying because the smell of the charcoal. I don't see the poison point in a gas barbecue. Yeah. I don't I don't understand what a gas, a gas barbecue is about. Well, one of the things that well, a gas is perceived, I mean, you've got to give the gas industry 10 out of 10, haven't you? I mean, they yeah. have this phenomenal perception that gas is better, easier, cheaper, you know, easier to handle. It's absolutely not. Um, no, no. And the times you trundle your gas barbecue into a corner and wrap it up with 
shields to stop the wind blowing it yeah. out and the rain runs you can't, yeah. you can't stick to see her whereas in a charcoal barbecue if you know what you're doing you got the right charcoal you got the right machine there's no comparison between the two and the rain can come tipping down at whatever speed you want and you can yeah. still cook, cook as normal plus right. plus the the theater and the smell and yeah. the, the health i mean charcoal barbecuing is one of the most healthy ways to the process process oh. and, uh, and that's another point the rain i mean i'm out in the markets especially this time of year and the hammering down with rain especially rain we've had mm -hmm. and you know i'm under the old hatch there no mm -hmm. no problem Bang no problem it's, brilliant it's well one final thing what, what would you what, what would your message be to the people who are watching here anybody who's nervous uh wondering should they jump should they not what would you say to them what I would say is never be nervous, visit my paddy chums and get a trailblazer. That's pure and simple it. Because I'll tell you what, if you buy one of those off Lex or the man Lester here, it will be fine. It will be fine. Your, your life will change because seriously, the, you, the look of the blazer, have a decent gazebo with it, branded. The look of that trailblazer opens people's eyes. We get, as I said to you about Hemel Market, we get calls from 60, 70 miles away to us. Uh, we've seen you on Facebook. Is there any chance you can come to our market? I'm telling you, that that machine you've done, hats off to you, mate. Hats off to you, because that's that's what I say to the people. Just be confident. Have, have, have the... Uh, comedy of a paddy and the attitude of a Londoner. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. Um, that's <laughs> one plus one equals three, Andy. <laughs> yeah. Andy, you're a star, you're an inspiration, <laughs> and you're now a great friend and part of the Trailblazer family. Oh. Uh, great to chat to you. Thanks for your time, and God bless you. All the best, Lester. Take care now.